Hey everyone, today I want to show you guys how to do the knockout method in Cricut Design Space. So what I'm going to do first is go over here and select my text tool on the left hand side and I'm going to just type out um, I'm a Patriots fan so I'm going to type out New England Patriots. I want to go up here to the alignment tool and center this. And then I'm going to change my font to impact. You want a nice bold font for this. And I'm choosing impact because it is a standard system font for most uh, Windows computers. So this will be the easiest way for you guys to follow along. But you can go ahead at, and pick any font you want. Uh, I just recommend something that's a nice bold font for the best results. So while this loads, um, we are going to just talk about, or I'm just going to talk about um, what we're doing here. So I want to, um, in this video, I'm going to take a football and slice it out of my words so that we can give it a kind of a cool effect. And this is called the knockout method. And we are going to end up layering this. So you can use this with adhesive vinyl or iron-on vinyl. If you use adhesive vinyl, you can use registration marks to help line it up. You can wing it. It's up to you. If you use uh, iron-on HTB, then you have to remember to only press each layer for just a second. Now, depending on what you're pressing with and how big your design is and all of that, you still only press each section for just a second. So you keep that in mind when going to do this because that is really important. Okay, so I'm going to make this bigger just to show you guys. And I'm going to go up here to my line space tool and I'm going to decrease the line space so that we can pull um, these up a little closer to each other. Now you want to get this uh, in pretty tight so that you get a good effect. And you can go ahead and you can edit this any way you'd like. Um, but I'm going to even actually, I'm going to put the New England part in the center here. And that might be a little bit better of effect. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to manually change my line space. Um, I'm going to spread it out a little more. Um, you don't want too big of a space and not too little of a space, so you're just going to have to eyeball it. I'm going to go over here to images and I'm just going to search for a football. I'm going to pick something that's in access so that you guys could easily follow along with this. Um, right here, perfect. This is M85571CE Ready Set Sports Cartridge. That is a perfect image for us. So I'm going to insert it and I'm going to check over here in my layers panel. Perfect, it's just one layer. And I'm going to size this and figure out where I want to take it out of my board. Um, you don't want it to be too too big, too small. I might do it this way. Um, so you can just kind of play around with it until you are liking the look of it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select both of these. And I'm going to use my align tool. I'm going to center it horizontally, and then I'll center it vertically. And that way I know it's pretty centered. And then I can go from there. Usually I like to do that to give me a base, and then I can edit it how I choose. So what we're going to do now is go back to our font. What I always do before editing any font is I go up here to duplicate it, and then I use the little eye to hide it. This way, if I make any mistakes, I don't have to retype everything out. I can just go back to my edit, um, to my hidden piece. So now what I'm going to do is select my non-hidden words and I'm going to weld it. In order for us to slice, we can only have two layers, so our text needs to be one layer. And in order to do that, we need to weld it. So I'm going to go up here to arrange and move it to the back. Now another important thing to keep in mind is that when you weld a text and then you save your project, you can't unweld your text. Now if you welded it and you haven't saved your project, you can just keep hitting the undo button until it's undone. But I think that can, you know, be a waste of some of your time depending on how far back you welded it and how much work you've done in between then. So I like to duplicate and hide it, especially if I'm welding. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both layers here and I'm going to slice it. 
Now the first thing I'm going to do is go over here in my layers panel and I'm going to delete the black piece of the slice and then I am going to pull these apart. Okay. Now you are going to want to keep the piece that fills in this part here. Now if you don't like the way this looks, you can go ahead and you can uh, edit it. So what I'm going to do, because I'm not a big fan of the laces there, I'm going to just hit my undo button a couple times until that slice is undone. And then I'm going to show you quickly what we can do with the football. Now because the football is, um, the edges here are solid, I can go over to the contour button and I can just take out these laces and then I can go ahead and I can um, slice this image out and I might like the effect of this better so again I'm going to go ahead here delete my black piece and then pull these apart and you want to keep the piece that completes your image. I'm going to change the colors to be a little more for my team. I'm going to just pick um, a blue and then we'll say I want this piece in the center here to be red. And once you are happy with the way this looks, you can delete this extra piece over here. Now when you click make it, you're going to see it's going to cut your two separate colors. You have your blue piece and your red piece. And then you will go ahead and you will layer those back together. And it's going to give you this really cool effect. And that's how you do the knockout method.